Dateline, January 29, 2010, Palo Alto, California. This is Rebecca Saunders reporting. Activists turn out in the hundreds. An unusual thing happened at Henry M. Gunn Senior High School in Palo Alto this morning. Across the street from the school, next to the bus stop, five members of a Kansas-based church held signs, shouted epithets, made rambling assertions, and sang a perversion of America the Beautiful. They came to deliver their message that the recent tragedies in our community are a result of our tolerance of diversity. Gun students, staff, faculty, parents, and members of the community streamed onto campus to stand in front of the school to protest peacefully and pleasantly the presence of these visitors. They held signs and chanted slogans affirming the community's commitment to values of personal freedom, diversity, and tolerance for all people, including, first and foremost, the five unwelcome visitors from Kansas. Their rhetoric of hate was pretty much drowned out by the chants of the gun community and the student-led sing-along of old favorites like We Shall Overcome, This Little Light of Mine, and Give Peace a Chance. Commuters in cars honked and waved their support, and listening enthusiastic cries from the gun crowd. As the crowd swelled to 400 on the gun side, worried looks gave way to smiles, handshakes, and hugs. Our community turned a bit of nasty business into an affirmation of love, tolerance, and friendship. When the five Kansans left, the gun community broke into chants of na 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 na, hey hey hey, goodbye. The community kept singing until the visitors were out of sight. Instead of dispersing right away, there was more hugging and singing and talking. I caught up with Norma Hesterman volunteer coordinator at Gunn High School and a founding member of Adolescent Counseling Services. She was there to show her support. We talked about how the social service organizations that serve our community are coordinating their efforts to reach out and to serve our families. In the presence of Kevin Scully, the PAUSD superintendent, and Gunn principal Noreen Likens sent a clear message of support and concern for our community. Office staff and parents held a 60-foot banner honoring tolerance and diversity. Reporters were there from Network News, as well as reporters from the national movement, Not In Our Town. And cameras of every description were held by citizens documenting this event, witnesses to our First Amendment right to free speech and to freedom of assembly. There were no skirmishes, nothing untoward, and no rude behavior. If not for the tedious and illogical message of the visitors from Kansas, it could have been a school social. But underlying it all, were 400 like-minded individuals pressing their message of diversity, tolerance, and love. This is Rebecca Saunders reporting.